أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله. My name is Bill Meyer, and uh, I'm the executive director of a group called One Ham Tramic. Uh, it's an LLC. It's in Hamtramck, Michigan. Okay, and what does this, this, this group do? The group is a, um, a community organization, mostly works through cultural methods of uh, addressing social uh, injustice, mm -hmm. racism, and Islamophobia, and uh, we use culture in movies and plays and uh, artwork to, to address the issues. Okay, so uh, tell me about this mural we were talking about just now. So, um, well, our first project was a uh, concert where we uh, addressed immigrants, and uh, we, I wrote a music piece. I'm a musician as a living, and I uh, wrote a, a concert to play along with a movie of people talking about moving to Amtramic from all parts of the world. And then uh, that was our first major project. The next one was <coughs> the next uh, major event was the mural that we did on the wall of uh, Shiva Restaurant in the Yemen community of Amtramic. The Yemen community has been marginalized, as the Muslim communities have in this city for a long time. This is, uh, Hamtramck has always been known primarily as a, P a Polish uh, city with up to 90% at one time in its history. For the last 70, 80 years, it's been Polish and uh, uh, they've had control of most things that happen in the city. But the Muslims were, uh, the Yemenis and the Bangladeshis were growing in size in their communities and they were being marginalized from government. Uh, and uh, they were being denied opportunity of voice in government. They, there's, to this day, there's still no Arab-speaking person working for the city in Amtramic that I know of. Uh, and there's no Bangladeshi hired in, in a position of authority anywhere. I mean, there's a few hired for lower-level jobs. So the Yemen community, which has been here for 60, 70 years in the south part of town, was being marginalized, I felt, and our group felt. So we took it, uh, uh, we, uh, an, an incident took place that uh, disrupted the community by the city uh, putting a mural up in uh, the community uh, which showed a cartoon of a coffin. And it was an artistic statement about the death of street art and stuff like that. I mean, I liked the piece and all that, but the community was shocked by it and didn't like it and uh, wanted it removed. And it took a long time for it finally to be removed. And uh, in the process, our group on Amtramic decided, let's put a mural up that's going to glorify and show the beauties of the Arab world and the, and the Yemeni people and their culture. So we uh, started a project with the uh, AAC group, which is the Arab American Chaldean Council. And uh, we got raised money within the uh, local community, no big grants, no big money. And we uh, selected an artist that was very famous in the world. Ignacio Fernandez, a Chilean, young Chilean artist that's really developing his talents. He came and painted the mural. So now it's, that's maybe four years ago, and it's like uh, drawing attention around the world. It's, it's a, a rare mural in America to, to praise and glorify the, uh, the Yemeni people. And uh, if you look closely at it, it's got a lot of artifacts from Yemen, and the people helped us choose what they wanted in their own mural. So it was for them. We did it for them. We let them choose what's in the mural. And so now we're doing the same thing in the Bangladesh community. Okay. Um, one of the members of our group uh, was a uh, gentleman named Abu Hanif. And um, uh, we worked together. I went to him to see if uh, he could help us put one in the, in the Bangladesh community. Uh, it never happened. It was three, four years ago. And, and he passed away in the meantime, very suddenly. And uh, we thought the project was over. But his uh, family that I saw at the funeral um, the memorial um, showed an interest in reviving the project. So now uh, it's been revived and we're going to do this Bangladesh mural and uh, I mean there's so many people involved and they, it's a very positive project. So I think the idea is to show the communities that they exist, that they have a presence in the community and shows their, the, the beauty of their culture and, and history. Okay, tell me, tell me what kind of 
generally these people are Muslims when they're living in, 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 in this area. Okay, well, <coughs> what kind of people there? Are, are they are they good people in terms oh, okay, of well. they're they violent? Are, are they, are they <laughs> okay. criminals? Or, or, or what percentage are criminals? My opinion is, uh, you know, I came to Hamtramck thinking it was mostly African American and Polish. Uh, even when I moved here, like 20 years ago, uh, I was surprised how big the Muslim community was. I, no one talked about it. They were marginalized. They were kept out of the newspapers. Uh, I went back at the old papers, and there's not a mention of Arabs or Bangladeshis living in, in the city. Uh, it was shocking. Uh, it took a while till I realized how, how much of a presence they have. And uh, it didn't take long for me to learn that uh, uh, I really enjoyed their communities because Muslims don't usually drink, they don't uh, get into the drug thing, and they're very trustworthy and safe, and they brought a lot of safety to the city. Uh, it's been a very positive uh, development, as far as I see. I think it would be nice if the whole city was even more Muslims, to be honest. So I have no problem with that. Our organization uh, sent out a press release when um, we acquired a Muslim majority council, which is the first time that's ever happened in America. So we put out a press release saying, isn't this cool? I mean, we got a majority Muslim council. I mean, we have a city, we're all, getting, we're all dealing with each other, there's no problems. But the city itself, that's been dealing with Islamophobia, didn't want to say anything about it. And uh, they were sort of surprised, and pretty soon the world media got attention and got interested in Hamtramck, and then all the negative things happened and all that. But it's an issue that we have to deal with. I mean, it's a real thing. There's majority Muslims in a city. And if people come here and see that this city is better off than Detroit is even. I mean, this is, uh, the Muslims have uh, brought tremendous stability. It's a poor community. Hamtramck's the poorest city in, a, in Michigan per capita, lowest income per capita. But you don't feel that. I mean, the homes are clean and neat. The people are, are uh, very polite, very friendly. And uh, I mean, I love the city for that. Uh, the problems are coming from other areas of the city, not the Muslim community. Uh, so I see a lot of Islamophobia in America, and we want to make sure it doesn't develop out of control on Hamtramck. And so that's why our group is addressing it now, to make sure we all know this does exist, just like racism exists, and uh, we have to address it. And so that's uh, pretty much the way I, I felt that uh, the, the city was made up of Muslims, and it was a positive thing. Okay. Thank yeah. you.